every hour of every day, there is something that represents the prison that you can watch. We were overwhelmed and inundated with that information without really ever stopping to analyze the effect it was having on us. So one of the things, of course, we'll do at Visualizing abolition is really the response to that. People know that there's something wrong with prisons. A lot of times, though, they think what's wrong is about the culture of the prisoner. We actually need to build up new ways of conceiving of what we would have instead of prisons. So what would have to change? Some years ago, my research led me to looking at contemporary artists who were engaging with the prison system. At UC Santa Cruz, there's a long history of research and teaching and activism around prisons, the movement for abolition, around policing. We just had to find different ways to engage the public, engage students, to work with artists, to work with creatives. It was considered laughable that artists would have something to say about the prison system that would be more than what criminologists and sociologists and legal professionals would be able to say. We need people from every discipline, from every walk of life, to be a part of this thinking. And we also have to be thinking about what the prison promises to do, that it's failing to do, and what we need to build instead. Visualizing abolition is unlike any other thing that's come out of the abolition movement because of its concentration on art and visual culture. Museums have a place to play as well, to be a places of civic engagement, to bring people together around ideas, around art, around experiences, to use our imaginations, to think about what else we can build. We have a new curriculum called Visualizing Abolition Studies. It will consider uh, prisons from an abolitionist point of view and from a cultural point of view first. It's exciting to see now that after many, many years, that it's possible to talk about these issues in the public in ways that make me think that we may make some real change.